Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is now just less than three months away from its official release by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio, as well as creator George Lucas that is all set and ready to end the sequel trilogy and the Skywalker saga itself. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, what's really exciting about Episode 9 is that we do know that this film is going to be inserting many different pieces of nostalgia, as well as taking many different risks that will be involved in this movie by Disney and Lucasfilm in order to really make it a different film in comparison to both The Last Jedi and The Force Awakens. Now, by far, I think it's pretty safe to say that one of the big exciting elements of Episode 9 has all to do with Rey's lineage, also her Rey, Rey's identity, where she comes from, who she really is, who her parents really are, and how that's all going to be utilized in this story by JJ. Now, on top of all of this, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the big plans by Disney, Lucasfilm, JJ, and crew, this is where things begin to get very intense for Rey's character in this story. Now, specifically, it's described that one of the scenes that were filmed during the month of January of this year involved Daisy Ridley on set over in Cardington, where she was described to be a part of a vital scene during the third act of the film, after her duel with Kylo Ren on the second Death Star. The sequence is said to take place on the world of Octu inside of a cave, where Rey is described to be visited by Luke's Force Ghost. Mark Hamill is said to have been involved with the scene to provide important dialogue with Daisy Ridley. Now, the costume design that Daisy Ridley wore during the sequence was dubbed as Ray Palpatine Skywalker underscore trim 3 dash scene slash Oct 2. Additionally, it's explained that Rey will have a strong and meaningful connection to both Palpatine and the Skywalkers in the film, and it's said that this was a part of the rewrites back in late 2018 by George Lucas and J.J. Abrams. The sequence is described to be very vital to her character, and that Rey's connection to the Skywalkers will be fully answered at the very end of the film, whereas her connection to Palpatine will be answered in the middle of the film by Kylo Ren during a confrontation on the world of Kajimi, which is said to be the world where where the First Order finds the Resistance. The character of Rey is said to be very important in the film that will create saga-wide implications to the Skywalker saga for the originals and the prequels. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, this by far is the biggest hint and or indicator that Rey is going to be related to both the Palpatine bloodline and the Skywalker bloodline. And now, a lot of you guys out there may be wondering how in the world would that even be possible? Well, I want to go back to the Darth Vader comic line that released back in 2018 during December, I believe it was where in that comic, it's pretty much hinted at, it's pretty much implied that Palpatine was the one who created the Skywalker bloodline since he initiated the birth of Anakin Skywalker through Shmi. Hence, Palpatine created the Skywalker bloodline from, you know, Anakin to Luke to now even Ben Solo. So what's really intriguing about this is that if Palpatine is indeed related to Rey, or if, you know, vice versa, Rey is actually the granddaughter of Palpatine, as we have been hearing, that that is going to be the case in The Rise of Skywalker, and if Palpatine was the one responsible for creating the Skywalker bloodline, you could really see the connections here as to how Rey and Palpatine and the Skywalker lineage would be combined. Now, with that being said, we do know that episode 9 is trying to make a revelation that's going to top the I am your father moment. Now, I'm not quite sure if this would necessarily top the I am your father moment. Honestly, I think it would be on level with it, but I'm not quite sure if it would really be better than the I am your father moment, which is exactly what George Lucas and J.J. Abrams are trying to do with this movie, is that they're trying to create the ultimate shock for, of course, the Star Wars franchise that fans have never seen before in a Star Wars film to date. They're really trying to create something very original and something very much eye-popping, if you will, once the, once the fans go ahead and see the this film come this December. Now, on top of all this as well, we do know that the character of Rey is going to have a strong connection to the Skywalkers and to, and to Palpatine in this movie. So you can really see what they're trying to do as far as connecting Rey to Palpatine and, of course, Skywalker in The Rise of Skywalker. So, Episode 9, like I've always said before in the past, this movie's going to be a revelation film. Even the man who portrays Chewbacca in this film, Yuna Suatama, said, The entire movie from start to finish is a I-did-not-see-this-coming moment, which tells us right then and there that this movie is full of different twists and turns and revelations and all these different reveals that are going to have saga-wide implications. 
So the character of Rey, like I say, they really did change her lineage during the rewrites of Episode 9 for the months of November and December of 2018 is where it all really began, right? Ever since then, a lot of rewrites took place prepping for the reshoots that would actually happen throughout early 2019 leading into mid to late 2019 as we stand right now a lot of reshoots are happening as we speak still during this month of september so with that being said guys i would really love to hear what you all have to say about this below in the comments and if you guys did enjoy the content for today do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel i thank you also very much for the kind support and i'll catch you guys next time